Now at four, several breaking news stories here at the top of the hour. The first from Magnolia. Nearly three years after he allegedly killed eight people, a jury finds Corey Godbolt guilty on all charges. Thank you for joining us. I'm Melanie Christopher. And I'm Walt Grayson. An emotional packed trial with moving testimonies. Our 12 News Jake Belex is down in Magnolia for the final day of the trial uh, when the head juror delivered his decision. Tell us about what happened, Jade. It took jurors about two hours and 20 minutes to make their decision. Now, they found Corey Godbolt guilty on all 12 counts. Those, eight of those are capital murder and first degree murder charges. There were tears and sobs could even be heard in the courtroom. Families of the victims filled the courtroom. 18 year old Jordan Blackwell's cousin said in tears the family was all close. By Blackwell's home was the second stop in Godbolt shooting spree. I went to church with all of them. All I can say is we just glad that it's over with. You know, just about over. And we just hate that this happened to our community. <laughs> Now, Corey Godbolt said in closing arguments that he didn't have a plan. Prosecutors have argued otherwise. Now, tomorrow morning, the penalty phase in this case starts at 9 a.m. Corey Godbolt could face the death penalty. Live from the Pike County Courthouse, I'm Jade Belexa. Jade, thank you. As Jade Walt and I have all stated, this case stems from murders that occurred back in 2017. Byron Brown joins us now to refresh our memories on exactly what happened. Byron? Melly, the date was May 27th, 2017. Willie Godbold is accused of going on a killing spree, and that includes three different crime scenes. He killed his in-laws, some acquaintances, and a sheriff's deputy. Now, the victims were identified as Deputy William Durr, Barbara Mitchell, Brenda May, and Takara May. All of these victims were aged 35 or older. Others included Sheila and Pharrell Burridge, ages 46 and 45, Jordan Blackwell, who was 18 at the time, and 11-year-old Austin Edwards. Now, shortly after the murders, Godbold's Abogacheta home burned down, and the community and family members speaking out about the victims and the person they thought they knew in Godbold. Thank you, Byron. Now again, Godbold's sentence is yet to be determined. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty, but we are certainly following this story. For more information on the timeline of events or events that are to come, please visit our website, wjtv.com.